Hello everyone, um, this video is going to be the starting point um, about what the derivatives are in calculus. Uh, so here we're going to start with something uh, very basic, uh, uh, finding out the average rate of change of a function. And this is going to be kind of the, the, the starting point to understand what the derivatives are. So we have this uh, graph right here. Uh, I'm going to put a nonlinear curve here, a nonlinear function. So I'm going to start with like that. This is a nonlinear function. So it's not a straight line, it's a curve. And I'm going to put like mark two points. So we have one point right here. This is the first point on the function. And then I have another point right here. Right here so it has like you know two points with x and y values um, so i'm gonna try to find out what is the average rate of change of this function between these two points so we have like an interval we have this x value right here i'm gonna go ahead and connect it to our x-axis so we have these two x values we also have two y values you know each y value associated with each of these points right here. So I'm going to connect that to y axis. So we have um, these two points right here. So let me just uh, get rid of this. Here we go. All right. So um, if we want to find out the average rate of change over this interval, either you know, the x interval, we basically um, take the y value here and subtract the y value, this one from here, and divide it by the, the change in the x value, which is the slope of this, you know, and, and it's going to be the slope formula, so it would be basically the slope of the line that passes through these two points. So this is what we have right here. Okay, so average rate of change of a function over an interval is basically the slope of the linear line that passes through these two points. So if we mark these two points, this looks like, a, you know, for argument's sake, I'm going to say x equals 0.5, and this is x equals 4, and the y value is y equals 1, and here the y value equals three y equals three okay so the slope of this line then would be basically just the change in the slope is going to be basically the change in y over change in x so this is a delta symbol change in y over change in x which is equal to y2 minus y1 okay over x2 minus x1 okay so that would be the slope so i'm going to go ahead and calculate what that value is so y2 is 3 so i'm just plugging in right here y1 is 1 over x2 is 4 minus x1 is 0.5 so on top you have 2, in denominator you have 3.5. So this is equal to the slope of this line right here. So the average rate of change over this interval is basically the slope of the line that connects that interval, the slope of the linear line that connects that interval, which is equal to 2 over 3.5. If you simplify it, you, can, you get a value for that. Okay, so that is the average rate of change of a function over an interval you know if the function is nonlinear we take the two points and we connect it with the linear line like this one and then we basically you know take the y value difference in the y values and divided by the difference in the x values that gives the you know uh, and take the ratio and that gives the average rate of change of this uh, function over this particular interval all right, let's go on to the next example. Okay. Here I'm going to use only symbols. So before, in the previous example, I used, uh, 
you know the numbers here I'm only gonna use the symbols here so here we have same thing I'm gonna use a you know different curve right here so we have you know this is our x1 this is our x value and instead of using x2 uh, hold, on, hold on alrighty Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. all right all right so here we go so i'm gonna use another for the second one i'm gonna use x plus h a little different than previous example so this means the interval is h units long so interval is H units long so interval is H units long okay all right so now we have two points X and X plus H and the X plus H is H units away from X and we have so the y value for this particular x is going to be f of x so i'm going to mark that okay so it's f of x right the function value at x that's what means the function value right here so and this one would be the function the value of the function at x plus h so this is your second y value y2 this is your y1 okay so i'm just using the symbols you know the letters versus the values that i use in the first example so how do you find the slope of this particular in this particular scenario so we know the slope is is equal to we already know it's a delta y over delta x which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 okay so the slope of th the formula of the slope is still the same okay now we, what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and plug in these values in here so what is y2 y2 is basically the value of the function at x plus h so this is the function value at x plus h so this is f of x plus h subtract the y1 what is y1 y1 is the the value of this function at x which is f of x and then you divide this by x2 minus x1 what is x2 x2 is x plus h minus the x1 is right here so this is equal to x1 this is equal to x2 is just x right here so all we're doing is taking these values and substituting in here so this is equal to m the slope of the function so f of x plus h minus f of x divided by if we simplify the denominator this x cancels this x so you're left with just h so the slope of a function is defined like this okay so that's uh, the equation that um, the reason I uh, did this particular pro problem in this uh, manner is that this equation is going to be very helpful when we actually go ahead and you know find out the derivative equation and uh, uh, learn about the derivatives later on so this is a very important uh, exercise to look at before we go into uh, the next video so hopefully it would help. Thank you.